Hello and welcome to the introduction to the spreadsheet. You can open the PowerPoint and follow along. So welcome to Excel Spreadsheets. This is an introduction going over what we'll talk about and work on this entire week with Module A. There will be an introduction for each of the modules. We'll go over areas such as definitions, more about Microsoft Excel, edit, find, replace, the ribbons, the font, general formatting, clipboard, alignment, getting help, number formatting, Google Sheets, and Mac numbers, all as an introduction for Module A. Definitions. What is the purpose of spreadsheets? Think as, it, as the spreadsheet is a math paper on steroids. It can do so much. We also have the Microsoft Office support website, Google Sheets, and help through Google, Mac numbers, and there are also many other spreadsheet tools out there. Just remember whenever you need help or you need to um, figure out how to do something and you're not sure how to proceed, the F1 key, the function key F1, is your help key in all your software applications. Another good resource is to just go to a search engine like Google and type whatever your question happens to be. And I'm sure you'll find very helpful examples. So here's the ribbon in Excel. At the top, you'll notice it's called Book 1. Excel when you open a blank workbook. And it should look similar to the other Microsoft Office applications. Word, if you know, remember, it was in blue. The labeling was in blue. Green is for Excel. Up in the left-hand corner, you still have your floppy disk, your undo, your redo, and if you want to customize your access toolbar. The far right, the author of the uh, application, and you have your um, show ribbon, display, minimize, maximize or restore, and close. Immediately below the green title bar is your tabs, file, home, insert, etc. Now what you'll notice is in here we have a formula and data, which we didn't have in Word. But in Word we had merge and other um, tabs that are not um, useful in, in Excel. So they all, just like in PowerPoint, they'll have presentation, slideshow. So they're all similar, but they have some differences. And as you click each of the tabs, file, home, insert, immediate, immediately below that is the ribbon. And on the home, which is the default tab, you'll notice the clipboard, which was the same in Word, your font, and your alignment. What's new in Excel is number, styles, and cells. Editing was the same in Word as well. So there are some similarities and some differences. We'll also save all of our files and they will be saved as a .xlsx versus .docx for Word. Just remember that we'll be setting formatting um, features and options based on your um, printing so that it's um, very accessible for everyone and especially your target audience. Alignment. This is just an example. Labels, text, appears left aligned, whereas values would appear right aligned. Just like in math, you want your decimals to always line up um, evenly so that you can proceed with your math solutions. But at some point, if you wanted to change your, um, any of your labels or values to not be either left or right aligned, you can actually change them individually. There is a edit, find, and replace. And you'll have many options in your find and select to replace items, whether it's text or values. And formulas. When you're using formulas, you can copy the formula into other cells so that you don't have to do it over and over and over again. And we'll be working with the most exciting part of it all. It's called fill handle. The clipboard, there are many more options than there was in Word. 
and that's because it has the traditional paste, paste values, and other paste options, and we'll get into those as well. Remember, the clipboard can hold up to 24 items. Microsoft Excel, uh, we'll go over the fundamentals. There is a video that you'll watch, but there's an advertisement about um, the last third of the video, so um, just be patient and go forward. It's a great um, uh, video on Microsoft Excel fundamentals. Um, some of the videos or the labeling will be with Business 222, BUS 222, or CMP 122, but they're all related to the introduction of Excel and the basics. The fonts and general formatting, that's the same exactly as it was for Word. And remember that you want to make sure that you select fonts and sizes and font types and colors that are acceptable for your target audience. Number formatting, this is new in Excel, was not available in Word, but the currency formats and general decimal and dates. And you'll notice that there is the dollar sign, which is for the currency formatting, the percent, the comma, and then if you want to increase or decrease your decimals. And then there are more under the general formatting drop down arrow. Over on the right hand side, you'll see examples. There is a short date and a long date for formatting. And there's also more formatting numbers, so there's even more available that we'll work on. Getting help, again, just to remind you, it's F1 in any software application. Google Sheets, there are some similarities and differences, and it does have the share ability. Mac numbers, um, you have to be on a Mac computer to, in order to um, work with Mac numbers, um, but it does have um, some similarities in the menus and a lot of differences but when you save this when you have to export it if you're working with Mac numbers you have to export it so that it is a, a file format that is dot s x l s x otherwise if you save it as a PDF and um, I view it the PDF I cannot see or read the formulas so you need to export it as a different file format and that would be a dot x l s x Thank you.